Right now, with the second busload of migrants arriving from Texas yesterday, Chicago leaders say they anticipate Texas Governor Greg Abbott will continue to bus even more migrants to Chicago. The city and local organizations are banding together to help. CBS 2's SL Rezai is live at the Salvation Army in Humboldt Park with more on what they need right now. SL. Yeah, Erica Joe, getting these migrants a place to temporarily stay is the first step here, but getting them resources involving things like education, like clothing, like medical attention is something that will have to be a team effort. And it's something that local organizations say they're working to do. With dozens of migrants now in Chicago, city leaders and volunteer organizations have been scrambling to find them critical resources. The Southwest Collective on the city's southwest side is one of many answering that call for help. As a daughter of, of immigrants, to me, it was very personal. Uh, so when I heard about this that was going on and, and, you know, when they reached out to us right away, I said, we have to do something. Southwest Collective is made up of neighbors and activists who organize a donation site once a month. They say as far as they're concerned, these migrants are now a part of their community, too. We ask people, you know, the community to donate, donate um, gently used uh, clothing or just baby gear that they have, whether it's a car seat or a stroller or, you know, something that they're not using anymore. The Erie Neighborhood House is another organization that has stepped up. They are ready to provide mental health care, legal services, along with basic necessities for the migrants. They were there as one of the buses unloaded last week. Making sure that folks felt welcome, that we were treating them with dignity, with respect, with humanity, and then also making ourselves available. Both organizations telling me the city is asking for this to be a coordinated response and say they'll have ongoing calls about what is needed going forward. In the meantime, though, uh, we know that all of our migrant families have housing, have resources, have clothing. All of our CBOs are still accepting donations. We're galvanizing volunteers so that when the city calls on us and says, look, we need some additional support, we can be ready. And I'm told the city's response team does have calls scheduled with these volunteer organizations we've been speaking with. Those are scheduled for tomorrow and for Wednesday, where they'll be discussing how many of these migrant families will actually be staying in Chicago and how to help them with long term resources. I'm reporting live in Humble Park tonight. Asal Reside, Erica Joe, back to you. Asal, thank you.